Hello and welcome to another edition of Small World USA. And this is the Gaylord Opryland Complex in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. 300, we're 290, the three there, three fingers were 299 for a night to stay here at the hotel and then $50 extra if you overlook the atrium. They have a price match guarantee here, Best Buy does, and so you can pick up some pretty heavy duty electronics here. Uh, I'm en route to the conference center. Uh, but yeah, 50 bucks looking into the atrium and having that little balcony. And prices over the holidays uh, even higher. And they're getting ready for Christmas here. The uh, gnomes are already uh, fishing. And it's kind of like a nature preserve here. It's, uh, yeah, this is, oh, look at this. If you've got talent, you can record yourself on a CD. Boy, is that technology amazing. Recording in session. There's your mic, headsets. God, they walk you right through it. Hey, I don't know. Even I maybe could be a star. Wow. But I didn't give it a go. I'm a little shy about those things. But like this staircase here. Take a closer look at that later. So they're in between the uh, Halloween and the uh, Christmas decorations thing. Here, if you're a kid, this would be like uh, hitting the gold standard if you would land one of those. So here, I, I remember Dino gasoline. And prices weren't quite that cheap, but it works. So uh, it was around lunchtime here. This was on a Friday, and there was a big convention in town. And I don't even think rooms, I think they were sold out. There's like 3,000 rooms. And this has got to be one of the most, like, unique hotels around the world. They have a little boat thing we'll see a little bit. Here we go. It's an autonomous uh, boat, too. The guy can narrate, and he doesn't have to worry about steering or nothing. It's amazing technology. the Christmas tree is up. I don't know if you can say Christmas tree anymore or if it's happy holidays tree. Um, anyways, yeah, we're getting ready for the holidays for sure. Here, change the game. And here are all the suppliers for this convention. A lot of bearings. So we'll see this, and they have them alphabetical there. We won't go through the whole list, but here we go. A world of reliable rotation. Yes, indeedy. Yes, yeah, so moving parts and so forth. <laughs> uh, and then they had the luncheon going on right about now, and I could have jumped right in and gotten a free lunch and we'll take a look at what they have my evil twin was thinking about it <laughs> but, oh no I just can't do that my conscience would bother me but that's what they all had look at some of these bearings wow we elephant proof and trying to rotate some of them there we go and then they had another convention, I think, coming up. 
in the governor's uh, ballroom just to get an idea of the facilities they have here. Oh. The rock that music comes out of, that was wild. Okay. So it's still a little Halloween. Uh, they shut the pool down. This would have been like the outdoor kind of thing, but they have a district even here. Entertainment, shopping, nightlife. And the Fuse Bar has a lot of TVs. And another part of this whole uh, hotel complex, whatnot, is the Magnolia. So they got the stair thing going here and the chandelier. Then um, they have an angel party out back. I think that's probably part of the Christmas thing. And then look at this, sound waves. Four, eight luxury water experience opening next year about this time and so the 7-eleven was out here they were already on a coffee break here a little history And the Ryman Auditorium. We'll get another look yet at the Ryman. But they have the Opryland. It's moved out here. Out, and that's part of the, the complex, they call it. There's, there is a shopping center also, a movie theater. And yeah, um, uh, Nashville is not called music city for no reason it definitely has the music thing going on so like the second half of this show will be a lot of music coming from uh, downtown I don't know if you could scan that now if, if you could get information if it kind of works then maybe I'll do it more in the future here but yeah they do like one with nature kind of thing so the landscaping and the flowers and everything, the fountains, they got it going on. They must have some uh, people with a green thumb that uh, work out here. Here's some fine dining for sure and waterfalls. Almost artistic, just the way they lay down the cutlery. Wow, we there's like a pattern going on there. Well, here like the balconies, uh, some more Christmas decorations. And it's like follow the yellow brick road, but it's kind of beige or brown. But flowers galore. So if you like that kind of thing, probably still for another 15 minutes or so. Maybe 10 minutes. But there's a lot of color, certainly. I don't know if that guy was a fisherman or what was up, but he's got, he's holding on to a penguin, turning him upside down. Oh, I see. We got props going here. He's just putting the penguins in place.
reverse. That's why you have the harness. Yeah, penguins are part of the uh, holiday uh, decorations. Um, alligator, crocodile, you gotta be careful. Oh, now here's that curly Q thing. So this gets you up to the, the second level, like the mezzanine level. And they have various meeting rooms here for those smaller conventions. I really do like the balconies here, but this is uh, early afternoon now and nobody's, they're all at their conventions or taking care of business. Kind of has the New Orleans flavor too. And now going back down, it's just as much fun going the other way. Oh, there you go. Merry Christmas, y'all. It's politically correct out these parts. Here, but yeah, they'll give you, explain some of the plants and vegetation and trees. They have nice benches here. There were like male and female flowers. Did not know all that. Or at least that's what I'm figuring out. And we have a holidays. Kind of look at one down one of the hallways. Three thousand rooms, though. That is a lot of hotel rooms. And if you do the math, and it's full occupancy. Holy Toledo! But uh, certainly, God, yeah, it's it's unique. It's got to be. How many other hotels have such an extensive greenery, uh, like atrium with nature? And a lot of them have something. I will agree, but not where you can walk through and kind of get away, escape for a while. I don't know if those were real presents or, or whatnot. I was tempted. My evil twin was. Dragon Tree. Ah, what a great name. John Wayne. The genuine article, to be sure. So they have a showboat. I'll check that out a little bit later. And this, I'm guessing, would be the male version of some of these plants. Okay, Garden Conservatory. That's the official name. I just follow. Oh, yeah, mature audiences only. Sometimes these little statues, they're not wearing clothes and so forth. If you got spare change, um, the lion will guard it. Love it when kids hit the books. You know they're learning stuff then. 
Got good uh, dragon lighting. This is a cool tree too. It's the screw pine. Another rock that talks, or actually sings, but yeah, I thought there might be some live music nearby, but no, it was just a rock talking, singing. Yeah, I think those are a couple of green thumbs there. I would have to think the maintenance you really got to be on your game. And then who knew? Empty like liquor bottles and stuff and you can make a Christmas tree. Awesome. That's like repurposing stuff. You got to love that. Well, they have like they look like goldfish and so forth, but they're katoi or takoi or kat. Uh, there's a name for those fish. Wasabi. I love the name. We have one on Woodward. Wasabi. It just rolls off the tongue pretty good. Like I'm in a tropical rainforest here. Check out the spa area. Uh, the outdoor pool there, but not in use. They have a rec room, color-coded. That's good, so you don't have your unbalanced or whatnot. You get the same color. I stepped outside, you know, uh, when we uh, shaped Whirlpool thing. Even Then an indoor facility but everybody was still at work so nobody was using it anything here at the pool nice tile work I kept seeing different things now this is the Opry walkway I'm gonna take this to Opry land they have an event center there we go grand old Opry house it's not to scale it's a little bigger than that these revolving doors are just huge. You can take your whole family in one of those. They have quite the valet, so if you want to make an entrance, you certainly could. There's plenty of room. Uber and Lyft. And they have different lanes. A drive through, lane one, lane two. Guess which lane I took? The Elite. No, just kidding. I think I was dropped in lane one by my Lyft driver. And you can get here by bus. Look at this place. It's massive. And what a crazy atrium and stuff. This is really, it's kind of like a must-see if you're going to go to Nashville. Hit the bar scene first. This would be second. Uh, fall colors, they're late this year and probably even for Tennessee. They got a 20 um, screen theater and an IMAX. Dave and Busters, that looks like the Detroit Pistons logo. All right, well, there are a lot of smiling faces here in Nashville. Now, here we go. 
Welcome to the Grand Ole Opry House. And this, oh, no audio or, or video recording. Darn. Darn, I came all the way out here only to find that out right now. Ah. No, I can take a, a look from the outside. It's almost like a church type kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, country music certainly is a big deal. I would have to imagine the acoustics are good there, too. They have tours of the auditorium. And they were setting up for a show that wouldn't start till a while yet. These are neat coffee mugs. And then a photo op time, so the girls weekend out. Friday afternoon here, Grand Ole Opry. So they have larger than life guitars. And everybody's got to get in the picture. So that's the whole game. You got to fight. And you know the rest. But they have an aquarium. And it looks, I don't know if that's a wax museum or that's, I know her, Taylor Swift. Well, and look at the musical symbol there made with flowers. Yes. And here coming up November 28th, Martina McBride. And I think it's a well used facility. Take the ladder to the roof. Yeah, but that looks a little compromising, but I think it was tied down. Okay, th there's an expressway that runs right kind of through there. And uh, so they advertise the shows. It's 155. That's the whole, in the red, that's where it is, right on the banks of the Cumberland. And then it, the Cumberland loops around, goes loop-de-loop, -loop, you know, S kind of thing. There's downtown Nashville. I think she's looking at me. Here, Michigan, <laughs> Mission, excuse me, Mission Barbecue. They're making good money there. They have to, uh, it's taken away with the armored truck. So the shopping mall, Opry Mills here, and they have valet parking, a Nike store, and a big parking lot. But here, Bass Pro Shops. This is, well, it's probably old news by now. But here's a little preview that I had, and these were right out front. I hardly saw them. They're kind of like camouflaged here, but it's a tracker. So what do we got going here? Ooh, still 2017, but this is the 2018 topper. Durable forest green powder coat finish. So that's how it goes down. So if you're into the fishing thing, the outdoorsman, I was just, and I was wondering if it included the trailer. And yeah, I was wondering if that scan thing would work. But here, a more deluxe thing, when you have like the captain's chair out front, that's like where you gotta call shotgun. You gotta be quick, because that's the, top thing there okay pricing and no oh and in, this one includes a custom trailer so this is cool because yeah you need something to haul it with it makes sense that a trailer's part of the package oh yeah It's not like window shopping. This was outdoor shopping. This was on display here. So I'm taking a look at what, what you know, toys for boys kind of thing. And, and girls, too, I'm sure. But here, we get a good factory savings. This is, and, fun, and other liars, if you caught that. <laughs> nice door handles. 
then taking a peek inside here is Chevrolet 3100. So I'm going to step inside the, and I hardly ever go shopping, but I'm taking kind of a shortcut down through here. I'm going to go to the food court because it was, it was my feeding time. I was getting cranky and tired. I could have done this massage thing, $2 for eight minutes. And then you get bargains as if you put even a little more, you get a better gift. The Peace Bus. SpongeBob likes that. Then a play area. And shoes nowadays and boots. It seems like uh, there's more of a color scheme for choices. Then the kids also have the merry go round. Now I have options Burger King, Panda Express, Billy Steaks, Chili's. Fridays, pizza, yeah. a cafe. Oh, now in action, yes. I went to Fridays, actually. We're gonna do uh, the Tito Strawberry Mule. And then they had the special, the barbecue ribs, the one that was advertised. Yeah, ribs are kind of a treat for me, so I did that up. It adds to cholesterol and so forth, but I don't, I don't do it all that often. That, I think, think means welcome in German. Could be wrong. Here, the showboat thing, the cruise. Now, I thought this showboat thing made regular runs to downtown and back kind of like a shuttle thing that would be kind of a, a neat thing but it's kind of like the dinner cruise kind of thing and there's some information there general jackson artistic uh stovetop pipes there exhaust pipes Yeah, on the banks of the Cumberland, it's not and not a fast-moving river. It flows into the Ohio River and the Ohio on into the Mississippi. Uh, that one's fired up. All right, here they talk a little bit, if you can speed read, but this is river boats to Nashville. A lot of times they call them packet boats. So if you were interested in that cruise that's where you would kind of meet beforehand all right i want to go downtown i'm going to go lift 1655 and there's the skyline yeah i would have liked to have taken a boat ride down the cumberland to make it here to downtown but lift was a good second option entrance and exits to the highway right next to the stadium I said, you know what, drop me off by the stadium. I knew I wanted to walk around here. This is where the Tennessee Titans play. So they're big, uh, and I probably could have picked up tickets, but I was leaving Saturday evening, and the game was Sunday afternoon, so that wasn't going to work out too good. But they were playing the Baltimore Ravens, and the Raven fans travel well. Of course, Baltimore's not that far away certainly a day drive and but I'm sure they came as groups too now here Titans and Nissan is the sponsor of the stadium and that's what their truck is the Titan I don't know coincidence oh, I'm not so uh. here at the signature building I like to think the AT&T building because of those uh, those spires there and it lights up pretty good at night. There's the commuter rail sneaking by. And the banks of the Cumberland. And it can get kind of steep in places. But 
a view of the skyline from, from the other side of the river. So uh, they have art all over the place, too, uh, which is neat. Now, here I'm going to show a lot of balconies. You can see people up on various buildings, and you do get a nice view up there. And, man, they had a lot of visitors. I'm sure they were and their building. Now, that I'm not sure if that's a hotel or not. Um, but they are building a lot of hotels. Here's some heavy gears. Now, River Basin. Okay, they had the big flood in 2010. 13.57 inches fell in 36 hours. So they were deluged. And it crested at 51.86, 12 feet above flood stage. So they had fl uh, flooding at Opryland and uh, in various places. But they talk here about the watershed. All that stuff is certainly important with urban planning. Here you can kind of see, because there's certain things you can do with the dams and having those watersheds, storage areas. The Nashville Riverfront. So I wanted here, so it's like a big art piece within a another art piece. And I'm not sure if that lights up, but it, to me it looks like a roller coaster that uh, went awry. <laughs> this, uh, the pedestrian bridge, though. And so you see people up there. And there's the shack down by the river. It'd be cool to check that shack out. But a uh, few people had their boats, including the, uh, the Metro Police. Okay, they call this the Ghost Ballet. And then looking across, and you saw downtown, that was Broadway. All right, they have an elevator, color lit up like in the neon thing. That looked pretty cool, but I took the stairs. And this is the view from the top of the stairs. You can kind of just maybe see a little of the field peeking inside the stadium. I don't know. Yeah, Nashville. I had been to Nashville before, but I didn't really walk around too, too much. On this particular trip, I made it a point to kind of walk around. And I certainly knew I wanted to check out this pedestrian bridge, which is well utilized. Even by people on skateboards. And then art there and the panels, and then the reflection. Yeah, the Cumberland was not a fast-moving river by any means. Uh, I don't know what the... It'd be neat, though, if they had shuttle boats, though. And then, yeah, the downtown skyline. I like the ironwork in the bridge here. Doggy Park. And here, the commuter train, one end of it ends here, and the other end goes like 
40 miles, I don't know if it's that much, but it goes uh, easterly. This electric bus, it was, it had the charge thing. I was kind of fascinated how this kind of worked. Okay, Beard and Buggy Company. Yeah, there's the charging thing on top of the bus, this kind of thing. Somehow it hooked up and bzzz, and it zapped it with power. American Steam Feed Company. Let's go Titans. Johnny Cash Museum, it's on the lower level. And the upper level has Patsy Klein. The Sun Diner, Broadway is kind of, this is the, the main street for, for the bar music action. And there's some retail. And they're doing some work on some of the buildings. They are really, uh, well here, music. Yeah, the city will take on a different complexion by night when the lights start coming on. Now, you can go diagonally across. That kind of sometimes helps out. So, right, because you only make one trip instead of the two across the road. Yeah, this was the train station, and it's the star. I was wondering, okay, here... It's at one end, the west end is the riverfront. It goes all the way to Lebanon. Okay, one ride to go all the way to Lebanon, $5.25. So that will be on my bucket list the next time. This is where at the end of the, end of the road right here. And then that way off to Lebanon. All right, transit. I'm going to take the bus. It was, this, they had a free bus, and then we just got underway, and here you can book now like this party bus, and they got, uh, they got a bar in the back. down the old convention center but uh, yeah they have a, a bus that makes a circuit and it's free all right 69 degrees this was Friday 6.07 p.m. and this was trying to get it. central daylight time CDT then you could actually at the north end of this thing they had these spider pilots on display from from the Air Force and then I wanted to check out the terminal because I wanted to uh, the next day Saturday I had to go to the airport so from downtown that's where I'm at now gotta go to the airport so I'm looking at line 18 number 18 so they have all the brochures this was nice so there's 18. Airport to downtown. This is what Detroit needs. Then if you wanted to, you could just look at the sidewalk and start singing. If you could hold a tune. Lord knows I can't. I never learned how to sing. Um, Music City Central. So right where we're at the point of the arrow. Nearby a steakhouse. And lively action. I like the lighting. Good vibe in Nashville. I was really impressed with the city. And the people. And, and they have like, I get the feeling though, a lot of transplants though. Um, people from other cities have moved here. Alright, here's like an alley. We're just, I'm just going to get into this. This will be kind of fun. I like this into the blues scene.
what's up with that? Uh, if you have a sweet tooth, uh, this was a place that could do that, plus the signs. Uh, they had great signs. Good lighting at night. Uh, here, a uh, hat party. BB King's. This was the only place I saw other than like big shows where they wanted a cover charge. It was ten dollars. That's still affordable.
This one they call the party barge, but they have all number of ways where you can go through the city streets in some kind of party mobile. It's crazy. Town, especially at night, and two portholes.
Elvis. I remember Elvis. Yeah, they hit their walk of fame here. Folks, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week or weekend, whatever the case may be. And part three of four is what I think it's going to end up to be. Kid Rock, he's got his star. How about it? Anyways, good night.